The 2008 North American International Auto Show in Detroit may well be remembered as much for the fuels that will power vehicles of the future as the vehicles themselves. By 2010, Ford's top-selling F-150 truck will include a flex-fuel EcoBoost 3.5-liter V6, a turbocharged and direct injection engine. Meanwhile, Ford also premiered its next generation of the Explorer SUV, dubbed the Explorer America. The new model not only moves to a smaller body layout, but it also exchanges the larger V8 engine with the more efficient and flex-fuel-ready EcoBoost power plant. The turbocharger is shown here. Ford's Mazda brand unveiled the Ferrari, which is based off the Courage C65 racer that competed in the American Le Mans series. This car is updated with a 450 horsepower rotary engine, and the Ferrari is ready to roll on 100% pure ethanol produced through a partnership with British Petroleum. Lincoln revealed the MKT Touring Wagon, which is powered by an E85 variant of the EcoBoost 3.5 liter GTDI V6. The Hummer HX concept is the brand's smallest vehicle yet and the first capable of running on biofuels. Under the hood, the HX uses the first flex fuel version of GM's high feature 3.6 liter V6 engine. GM Saab brand also unveiled its latest flex fuel engine in the shape of a new crossover concept called the 9-4X Biopower. Running on E85, this new engine has a maximum output of 300 horsepower and 209 pound-feet of torque. Chevrolet announced that its Corvette racing team will run on cellulosic E85 produced from wood waste during the 2008 American Le Mans series. And in a major announcement, the AMLS says the series will be embracing green fuels for the 2008 series. In a sign of just how green fuels craze this year's Detroit Auto Show has been, Ferrari showcases its F430 Spider biofuel, ready to run on E85. The flex fuel car is more of a demonstration than a specific powertrain direction for the Italian racing icon. Toyota did not unveil any new flex fuel models at the Detroit show, but the automaker's Tundra pickup and its new Sequoia SUV will both be equipped with E85 engines in 2008. Both models are set to receive a new diesel V8 in the near future.